If you're looking for fast, cheap, and reliable mug coins, make sure to check out buymugcoins.com. Link in the description. Use code CK for 10% off. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. And if your favorite player is a rookie or a sophomore, then you might want to sit this video out because they're probably not going to get chosen. But if your favorite player is a legend or a veteran, he's probably going to be taken, man. We're going to be taking the guy with the best career so far in each and every round. I call it the legacy, 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 legacy draft. Let's get it. As much as it pains me to say this is an easy decision, man. I gotta go with Tony Romo. Even though he hasn't won anything significant, he's also been a really good quarterback for the majority of his career. All three of these guys have pretty good legacies, but Willie Brown takes the cake. Now, if you're one of those guys that thinks Michael Jordan is better than LeBron simply because he has more rings, then you might say I should take Virgil Green because he's the only one with a Super Bowl. But if you're of the elk, that LeBron is maybe on the same level as Jordan because he's a great all-around player and not because of rings. Then you would probably go with Steve Smith Sr. because he's more accomplished as an individual. By the way, I do think Jordan is still a little bit better than LeBron, but he's coming, bro. He's coming. Two of these guys haven't done anything too significant in the NFL so far, while TJ Ward, on the other hand, has been a Super Bowl champ and a three-time Pro Bowl. Round number five is a perfect example of just because you have a longer career Career doesn't mean you've had a better one. We're going with Dante Hightower over Roman Harper. I guess you could say this is our first tie in round number six. None of these guys have done anything too special in the NFL, except for Taylor Gabriel, man. When he crossed the Malcolm Butler, man, I cannot get that play out of my mind. It was hilarious. <laughs> round number seven, we gotta go with Joe Hayden. He's the only guy with a Pro Bowl appearance. Another easy decision in round number eight, man. We're going with the only guy who won a Super Bowl. Not even close to round number nine, man. We're going with Ryan Kerrigan. Do I even have to say anything? thing man the guy went from being a quarterback to an amazing wide receiver easy decision Terrell Pryor scene dare I say it's the closest round so far man three really good players who all have similar legacies but I think I gotta give the edge to the user god Anthony Barr 86 overall let's get it only one in this round with anything notable is TJ Yeldon who won a national championship once again we gotta go off individual accolades and I gotta give the edge to Eric Kendricks even though Roby has a Super Bowl you know Ertz, I like you and all, but maybe if you caught the ball once in a while, we'd be taking you in this round. But instead, we gotta take Jarvis Landry, and I'm not mad at it, man. I always like having speedy receivers. This has to be the toughest round so far, man. Let's start off with the freak, known as Javon Curse. In college, he had an SEC championship, a national championship in the same year, first team All-American. In 1999, his first season in the NFL, he was the AFC Defensive Player of the Year. Not to mention the defensive of rookie of the year he also had three pro bowl appearances and was a first team all pro once now as for our next guy up night train lane he was a seven time pro bowler he made the first team all pro seven times as well he led the nfl in interceptions twice he holds the nfl record for most interceptions in a season with 14 but i still don't know if he beats out this resume i'm about to show you from marvin harrison he led the nfl twice in receiving yards he made an all pro team eight times one more than night train he also made the pro bowl eight times one more than night train as well and on top of that he has a super bowl victory i gotta give him the edge man squad is not half bad at all obviously we could do a little bit better on offensive line and tight end but i'm liking the playmakers we have on both sides of the football uh, i kind of hate playing against this formation man gun split close i believe that's what it's called yeah it's very super annoying man so many good plays but we got there just in time kerrigan with his first sack of the game all right maybe i don't hate it so much man third and 19 this guy's stubborn so he's gonna come out in the same exact formation and i think we're gonna get another stop man let's see what happens he's going right over the middle nice tackle fourth down coming up gonna switch to cover three mabel protect the sticks and make a play let's go man we got a spy up beautiful defense boys Sometimes you gotta show them how it's done, man. I might be kind of hypocritical, but I'm coming out in the same formation and I'm about to dominate. Watch this, X wide open. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's times like this where i probably should get a face cam because if y'all saw my face i look extra salty right now but um you know we're gonna keep on playing it is what it is beautiful defense kerrigan with the hurdle we're dead 
Seattle to the six. This game crazy so far. I'm gonna keep the ball on the ground here on third and goal because Romo likes to turn the ball over. You know, that's what he does. So let's see if TJ Yeldon can pound this rock in, man. Right up the gut. Let's go, baby. Find him blocks, Yeldon. Gets us the first points of the game. Let's go. This shit my favorite song. You just don't know the words. But I still fuck with you. You just ain't never heard. It go like count that stack. Pop that captain down that jack. All my niggas hit that zip. And all my ladies got that bitch. My oh, big hitter from Eric Kendricks. How do we not recover that? Not too happy right now, man. We should have the ball. Trying to go up two possessions. But instead, he has the ball. And he's still on offense, man. He's going to run right up the gut. Another big hit. That could have been the second fumble of the game. We need one more good play, man. Third and two. He has somebody in motion. We're watching the middle of the field. And he's going to the outside. To his tight end. Big hit from Willie Brown. But he gets the first down. All right, we got another third down right here. He's right around midfield. We're sending the blitz off the right side. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Pull up to the scene with my ceiling missing. Beautiful Pull interception, Eric Hendricks. You can't stop him from getting the turnover, man. This time, we got the ball. I'm a little bit hesitant to pass it after that first interception, but I'm not going to give up, man. Steve Smith Sr. to the outside. Hopefully, he can beat his man over top. If not, we got R1 wide open. Jermaine Gresham found his blockers, getting the easy first down. First and 10, I think he's in man defense. If he is, we have X wide open, baby. Jarvis Landry, way too fast for anybody to cover him. We're going up two possessions. And that's Rage Quit number one. Let's move on to another game. Time to see what that guy has in store for us, man. He's coming out in the same formation as the last guy. Looks like people never learned their lesson. Beautiful defense. High tower with the interception. Nice lurk to start the game. Might not start off with the halfback draw. Middle of the field is looking beautiful. Ooh, cut back. Baby, look at TJ Yeldon with the beautiful cutback. We're going to get close to the first down. Going to run the same formation, but a different play. We're going to bench this time. Squares wide open. Marvin Harrison, way to catch the ball. I think I'm going to run it right up the gut on third and two, man. He's been playing a little bit soft in the middle. So this might be our chance to run it right to the end zone, yeah. baby. TJ, way to fight, baby. First points of the game. Defense has been playing absolutely lights out in the first two games so far. Let's see if we can keep it going. He's going to the screen, and we almost lurked that. So far, our opponents have not been able to move the ball. Very impressed with the way we're playing, man. Look at this. We got a fumble. Howard recovers it, and we're going up two possessions just like that. Seems like he can't handle the pressure right now, but we all know Tom Brady can come back at any moment in time. So I'm not considering this a W just yet, man. There's still plenty of time left in this game. As he's going deep to the right side against Willie Brown. And he mosses him. Let my dreads grow out. My bitch got a blowout. Me casa su casa. My house is a whole house. Let's go. Willie Brown makes up for it. Huge interception, man. Way to redeem yourself. And that's going to be another rage quit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more draft chance, smash the like button, man. Let me know you guys actually enjoy these. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And as for me, gotta run when I hit a bird call. Yeah, happen that thing in Merkov, swerve off.